What is up guys, it's Ivan Rami back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering Target Go on Stellar 3.0, specifically for Pokemon and sports cards. I will leave all the links down below in the description of what I use in this video. If you use my link, it'll give me a little bit of a kickback, which I would appreciate greatly. Alright, so the first thing you will need to bot target are some proxies. If you don't know what proxies are, it's basically a way to hide your IP address so you don't get banned from these big stores like Target. For Target, I recommend you to use some ISPs because they're fast and reliable. Specifically in this video, I'll be using the Wealth Premium ISPs. They've been working great on Target so far, so I definitely recommend them. Now that you have your ISPs, make sure you add it into the bot. If you don't know how to do it yet, you just click this plus button here and then give it a group name. I already have a group name for test and then go on the top right corner um, and hit manage proxies and then just paste that list that you have of your ISPs in here and then go ahead and test them by picking a site. One of these sites, it can be Target or Amazon. You just want to make sure that those screen check marks are shown. The next thing you'll need are some target sessions. In this video, I'll be using the access token method for the session. So I'm going to leave a link down below of this guide right here. But basically, you're going to scroll down and find the target access token login section. And right here, it's going to link you to a target access token harvester. Once you click that, it's going to open up a Google Drive um, account. And then you just have to click on this and hit download. Once you have that downloaded, click on this puzzle piece up here that says extensions. And then click on manage extensions. And then make sure this top right is developer mode is on. So it should be blue or whatever color your scheme is. And then on here, you're going to hit on load unpacked. And then go to your downloads folder and find the Stellar Harvester 2. Click within the folder and then click on the Stellar Harvester 2. And then you should see it loaded right here in the bottom left. All right, so go to your extensions and you should see the token harvester for Stellar. Go ahead and pin this so it's easier to use. Um, and you'll see it says zero right here, which is perfectly fine. So what this is going to do is when we log in, there's going to be a token generated that will save your session. And that token is going to be used in Stellar so it remembers what your login was. So for each account you have, you're going to have to repeat these steps until you have all the tokens needed for Stellar. All right, so to generate a token, go ahead and click sign in. Click on the button. And then make sure this keep me signed in is checked and then enter your details here for your account and then hit sign in with password and then it should log in as normal but the thing you will notice is this is going to go up to one so this is going to be your token so you would download this right here so i'm going to it saves as a text file and then usually i just open this up and then copy this now going back to Stellar, you're going to go to the Identities tab and then just search for Target here. So here you go. I have some sessions already, but I'm going to create a new one. So hit Add Session. And then go ahead and paste that access token that you just copied over here. Now for the other fields, it should be pretty normal. Give it a name. I'm going to put Demo for this one. And then enter the email and password. And then for login proxy, you can pick a ISP that you have, or you can leave it empty. It just depends on how you want to run it. If you're on a server, I recommend you to put a login proxy. That way you don't get banned on there for some reason. And then for login method, make sure you change this to token login and then hit save. Once you make the session, it will say new under the status column. It won't say ready until we make a task. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, so for Target, I actually recommend you guys to stick with the OG Target for now. Um, the Target Go was having some issues and I was actually having issues checking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new group for Target. Um, to do that, you would just hit the plus button up here and then search for Target. And then I guess I already have a test group here, but you would just name it what you'd like here. Before we make these tasks, we're gonna have to make some cookies for adding to cart. These cookies are basically a way for the bot to automatically check out for you. Target has a really heavy anti-bot measure system. 
Um, basically, without these cookies, you're not able to check out at all. So it's different from other sites because of that. So I'm going to go over how to do that. So going back to the Stellar Guide, you can see there's a nice little section for add to cart cookies. And it'll give you an overview of what they are and how to set that up. Um, they actually have a video built in here that you can watch as well. So it does say there's two options we can use. However, the first one, the shape module, which was a little bit easier to do, is currently broken because of how Target is handling the anti-bot and how difficult it is basically to go around that. So I would recommend you to follow the browser extension step, um, which, which will be covered in this video right here. So I'll leave a link down below on how to do that. But basically, it's the same steps where you're going to this link um, and then downloading the harvester so let me find that all right so downloading the add to cart cookie harvester so here's the link and you would just click that um, basically repeating the same steps where you're clicking this down arrow hit download After you have that downloaded, go ahead and go to manage extensions again, and then make sure developer mode is still turned on and then load on fact. And then this time you're going to be looking for the seller AI O cookie harvester. Um, and then you're going to go into that folder, the build one and add that. And then, then you're going to see a screen like this. So to create, um, cookies, you're going to have to go to target and then find something that's in stock. So we got some Easter stuff in here. So this is in stock and you can get it shipped as well. So you're gonna pin this uh, extension so you can easily use this. I'm gonna reset the headers and clear the session. Um, so to get this started, you want to click on this toggle right here. And then I recommend you to paste in some proxies so to do that, you just literally just paste it in here in this little text box, and then you can turn this on. And then finally, you, the bottom should say rotate, which is good. And then uh, click on the auto generate to get that working automatically. So in a second, you're gonna see it going and adding to the cart. So also you can manually add it to cart by clicking the button, and then it'll give you this error it's basically saying something happened and that's because Stellar is basically stealing that cookie from the store to use in the bot. So I'm going to create a few here. All right. And then going back to the bot. All right. So I'm going to make a task now for a target. The first thing you'll need is a monitor task. So monitor task is going to be looking at target to see if that SKU is, is in stock. Uh, you can grab this from the target website or from your cook group. Uh, I'll leave a link down below of what cook group I'm in, which is in which is lunch money. For delay, let's put 5,000. Monitor type, I usually just pick the API. You can leave store IDs empty unless you have a specific store you're trying to get it from. Uh, I leave zip code and radius empty because I'm going to be doing shipping. Uh, reset delay, I put 5,000 here, hit create, and there's my monitor task. So I'm going to hit start, and it's going to say check in stock, and then it'll say sleeping. Uh, I believe that means it's in stock. So now I can create the next task, which would be a safe task. So for target, uh, I recommend you to use your red card. Stiller has a little section down here at the bottom of the guide telling you you can add it. Um, basically, you're going to be using the Visa card option and then using the four digit pin as the CVV and then make sure you click override payment. Also, a thing I forgot to mention is when you make your profiles, make sure it uses the same email here that you're going to use on target. So that email should be the one for your sessions as well. So you can see here, I have like a specific group for target just so I know which one I'm using. For monitor proxy, you can use the ISP, um, and then I'll just use premium as well. For fulfillment, I would pick shipping. Uh, most of the stuff that Target sells will do shipping, but if for some reason you want to do pickup, you have the option to do that as well. 
based in that same skew for a delay i would recommend doing like a thousand quantity is going to depend on what task you're looking at uh the the max quantity could be one or three or maybe more so i'm going to do one for this since it's just a test uh for monitor type just click api doesn't really matter since we're going to be overwriting it with the watch task um for the rest i leave empty and then make sure you click watch task and override payment so it uses your red card if you have it um use rakuten as cashback so if you have that set up just hit check on that so now that i have created i can hit start on this so hopefully it should say ship ship shape band shape band uh let this play for a little bit all right, so it's checking out now that I have the cookies added. It's verifying my order. And there you go, you heard the cha-ching, and then I got an email um, saying the item checked out successfully. So hopefully that you found this video helpful. Um, I did have to do some troubleshooting. Um, I did originally say target go, but that didn't work out for me, so. That's kind of the thing with Target. You're going to be hopping from Target Go to Target and then using different types of tasks. So right now, I would say stick with these safe tasks for OG Target and then um, setting up more accounts and then also having the Shape Harvester running in a browser is the best bet you have right now. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And like I mentioned, I'll leave the links in the description of everything I use in this video. And let me know which site you want to see next. There's Walmart, Costco, and some other sites I still haven't covered. So I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Thank you for watching.